Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nenny & Associates Executive Search Channel. I'm Jim Schaefer, and we're focused here on providing you with exclusive content for improving your hiring, interviewing, and recruiting strategies. Today's video is going to be our latest edition from the Stories from the Shelf series. We're going to give a brief overview of the classic book, Who Moved My Cheese? So let's get into it. All right, if you haven't read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? It's a classic book that has sold millions of copies, been around for decades. It's a really short read. You could probably get through it in like an hour, but uh, if you don't have the hour, here's a little bit of an overview. It's got four characters in it. It's, uh, it's basically, it's a parable that outlines these four different characters. So the first two characters are the two mice named Sniff and Scurry. And there's also two other characters named Hem and Haw. So basically, Sniff and Scurry are the two mice that are constantly on the lookout for new cheese. They find a big pile of cheese at a certain cheese station. They're feeling really good about it. And at the same time, they're looking for the next cheese station. They don't want to get too complacent, so they're alert, they're assertive, they're fit, they're staying on top of it. You contrast that with the two other characters, Hem and Haw, who get a little bit too fat and sassy. They get lazy. They work really hard to find this pile of cheese, and they decide, hey, we're just going to entrench ourselves here. Why continue to look? We got a really good thing going. Basically, Hem and Haw are paralyzed by fear. They're just so unsure of what else is out there. Is there even any more cheese out there? Why should we keep looking? I don't know. We got a pretty good thing going here, so let's just stay put. Now, as you can imagine, they do eventually run out of cheese. So not only does the supply get low, but what they have left just gets really moldy, and they're like, hey, we got to start looking. But only one of the characters, Haw, he's the one who's like, hey, we got to keep looking. But the other character, Hem, is like, no, you know what? We're going to stay here. We're going to ride this thing out. So Haw eventually ventures out purely out of survival. They start to run out of cheese. He's like, hey, I, I got to eat. So as he's out there, even though he's scared and he's unsure what's going to be around the next corner, he starts to feel more invigorated, more alive than ever before. But his other partner here, Hem, doesn't move throughout the entire story, at least from what we can gather. So if you haven't read the book, go out and pick up a copy. It's a really short read, and then you can decide who you relate to, whether it's Sniff and Scurry or Hem or Haw. So go out and pick it up. Now, how does this relate to us in the world of hiring, interviewing, and recruiting? Maybe you're a leader and you're evaluating your current team and you're telling yourself, hey, I got a top grade. I need to bring in additional talent to my team and I probably should let go of a couple of underperformers. But what if I let go of these two underperformers and I lose that headcount? So you start telling yourself, hey, somebody's better than nobody, right? And, and even though our numbers could be better, we're still doing okay, we're still meeting our numbers. Everything's fine the way it is, so why do anything differently? Or maybe you're complacent in your current position. Things aren't terrible, but things aren't great either. So you're telling yourself, hey, why, why look for a new career opportunity or why do anything differently? I have this, this comfort here. I have this level of job security. You're swimming around in complacency and mediocrity. And this may not necessarily mean that you have to look for a new career if, if you're stuck in, in mediocrity, but maybe it means that you're gonna volunteer for that next project. Maybe you're gonna pursue something a little bit differently. Maybe you're gonna ask your boss to go improve your skill set in some way through some certification course. Maybe through some of these additional challenges that you start to take on, you start to feel more invigorated like him and, and more alive, and you start to feel more fulfilled in your current position. So it didn't require you to make a move. You stayed exactly where you're at, but you were able to make something new out of your current position. And through this new initiative that you're taking on, your boss starts to notice you and you're moving into new roles and you're getting promoted. Or maybe he doesn't. Then that's a reality too, is that you start taking on these new initiatives and you're doing new projects and you're starting to feel more fulfilled, but nobody's noticing. Well, yeah, and then at this point, maybe it does make sense to pursue a career outside of your current role, which is a logical path that you can explore. So no matter where you're at in your career, I think the moral of this story is never get complacent, never get lazy, and always adapt to this ever-changing world because change is going to happen. How are you going to adapt to it? Because after all, your cheese will eventually move. All right, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you're getting value out of this content. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video. And if you did enjoy it, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Jim Schaefer, and we'll catch you on the next video.